Can you see those little rice grains? Those are eggs. Today we are going to pick out the larvae that will make the new virgin queens. And the trick is to pick out larvae that are as young as possible. Those are too old, too old. You want larvae that are just hatched from egg to larvae as, as young as possible. Every fertilized egg a queen lays can be made into a queen and, that's, and the bees do that by the way they feed their young larvae. You can see, look at those grains of rice that are just like eggs. Different size. I have a special tool that is a grafting tool. It's a little scoop. I'm going to pick out a search for a larvae as, as small as possible. That one, that's a nice C shape. It isn't really very well visible. And so you pick them out of the frames and put them in a cup. So let's get on with it and craft us some larvae that we'll put in the starter hive to make the new queens. I'm using a loop with a light because it's hard to see with the naked eye because you want the smallest, smallest larvae. If you think what a strange pattern of brood on that frame, I've used that frame a couple of days ago already to craft some larvae. So that's why the sizes of larvae and eggs are mixed. And we'll take them out of the frame, put them in a little cup, put that little cup on that. In the cup you go, and on it. And that's, we're going to do that till we have 20 larvae per hive. The starter hive almost never cares for all of the larvae. I can make a mistake, but they choose, they have a selection process too. But if more than half of the larvae are accepted by the by the starter hive to make new queens from. I'm more than happy. This very cold weather to the, this this year, so they didn't accept more than half. But that's a subject for another video, and it's it's very fiddly because the frame normally a frame of brood has a nice um, it has a nice from young to old and you can see it you can follow it through the frame because but because I used this frame before to craft already the queen laid an egg in the empty space I created and that's how it gets a bit muddled up but that's okay it's just a bit more searching it's easier if you don't have to search it goes faster but Ah well, it's the way it is. So, I'm almost done. Searching, searching, searching. That's another nice larvae. Put it on there. My cups were done. And now we put them in a frame and we go to the starter hive. This is the starter hive. I've been feeding the hive for a couple of days now, which is important, especially if there is no nectar flow. You need lots of young, well-fed bees to make nice young queens. And all those young bees are in that empty space, the frame we left open to receive the frame of larvae. Pick up the frame and gently, very gently, put them into the hive and the young bees jump on it and will make new queens, which will we we'll know the result in a day or six days, five or six days. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. How do?